Hey everybody, welcome back to White Knight. I am the outlier and we're here. We're back on the grounds and I have the distinct feeling that William Vesper is not dead. Not by a long shot, baby. You know, he killed somebody. Well, that was just funny. He killed Selena, but I pretty think I was taken for an eye that was actually the scent of blood. Yeah. He killed Selena, um, and he's still living in this house. He is very much still alive. I should have burnt the place down. Too many strings were still attached. Um, Alright, so he just let me run back there. So I guess I'm supposed to go out the front. Oh, so the gate opens now. Uh, okay. Um, we're free. We get to leave this nightmare. Is that a shoe? That's a shoe. Come on, right over. There we go. Hey, again. Would Selena be safer outside? No, death As a conscientious diva, Selena walked to her grand finale. My fear was washed away by disgust. I was about to meet William. Yes, we are. Hey, car. I was back where I started a life ago. Can I now? Can I now get in the trunk? Can I now pop the trunk? Oh, yeah. Use my hatchet on the trunk to get the bat out. Really? Or my gun? Probably my gun. the only beautiful thing in the world. The only one which could save me. I'm sorry. It was me all along, Selena. The son of a bitch. The sicko. The killer. The wolf. The filth. The bastard. The scum. Oh, you should have let your mother kill you. You should have undone what she did. Have a second chance, Selena. Let me go on till the end. The me no. The beast inside me. The blade that injured Selena's stomach was stuck there by me. All this time she was losing blood in the trunk of my car. I was a monster. There was no turning back. Just some hope, maybe. What the hell is going on, number one? And number two, still missing that one. So I missed one, two, uh, missed two, three, four, five. I missed five. Memories of what I had done were coming back slowly. Like the tide washing ashore the rotten corpses from a wreck. Selena was lighter than pillow. 
The real weight was all those years of filth stored in my memory. So you Images. The blade I sunk deep into the stomach of my own mother. What? Those dark-haired women. Those hated clones of Margaret, split from head to toe as a sacrifice to the moon. Their organs displayed carefully, like some child fresco. Selena on the stage of smoke and mirrors. The glass I used to toast with her. The first time we talked. Her tears. The letters in which she told me about losing her kid. How her husband had been murdered. And our kiss. The blade I used to stab her. My father. And the father of my mother died from the same madness. The same poison that men injected into the economic system they had created. Okay. On October 29th, 1929. Millions of casualties. The scent of blood. And for the wolves. The beginning of the hunt. Okay, which way do I go? Are you going to give me a clue as to which... Okay. Foop it! Going to go over here to the rolling hills because... Oh, and I got to apologize. Last time that clock puzzle was intuitive, I was just an idiot. <laughs> Hard to believe that that happened, right? Am I walking to her grave? I don't know. This confuses the hell out of me. Which direction was I supposed to go? What option was I given? Do I walk to the coast to toss her off the hill? Do I walk to the graveyard to bury her? You know, why was I drinking and driving that night? What the hell happened? They were my boot prints, but I didn't remember them. From William to Selena, second letter. 21 out of 25. I'm not finished reading your letter, Selena. Never had any, never had anyone open their hearts so fully to me. I remember you asked yourself how it was possible that your voice would match my piano so perfectly. You and me are lost souls, my dove, but you are full of light, whereas I have been crawling down the abyss for far too long. I have told you some things, but not all of them. I didn't tell you about the blood on my hands. If you knew, one can't do anything against this fear. You don't come back from this darkness. It drives you crazy. Sometimes I forget this simple fact. I am a madman. Your love reminds me of the monster I have always been. Your warmth, your perfume, that's the closest I'll ever be to heaven. You are an incarnation of the moon, Luna, but never of you was, but neither of you was able to save me. That was not meant to be. The country needs wolves as much as it needs game. You will never receive this letter. Tonight, you will expect me to love you, and I will kill you. Wow. Because I am a shadow, and I can't stand anything but darkness and night. William Vesper. Holy hell, dude. You got problems. Is this the second one? Yeah. You've got serious problems. And I can't run. So wait. So wait. You mean to tell me, after all this damn time, I, one, I can't run with her. Two, she's going to continuously, or he's going to, what the hell was that? Going to continuously breathe into my ear as we walk through the night. I guess this is rain. All the way back to this, so I can go all the way back down the next path. Wow, that's stupid. That's really stupid. Is this, is this shut off to me now? Now I just miraculously can't go back? 
I can't choose the other option. Not like I had much of a damn choice to begin with. But are you are you just not lit? The hell is that noise? Oh. You were just hidden from my line of sight conveniently. Like so I need to stop complaining about this game. But that that clock puzzle on the floor, that was definitely my own dum dum coming to full fruition. Um and I can't see me. Lovely. Uh it, the anger and the frustration, most of the things in this game were my fault. If I got stuck anywhere, if I got hung up anywhere, completely my own idiocy. Full effect. So, so nothing's chasing me. No spirits are out here trying to grab my soul. I can't light a damn match. These look like snowflakes. I can't light a damn match. Selena, uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is, this is confusing and... Selena's warmth was pulsing slowly in my arms. Oh, she's still alive. As a dark spot of my culpability was growing over her stomach. In the sky, the moon was watching me, her son, as I was taking my first steps, holding her daughter in my arms. A resurrection. A second chance. Selena was dying. I could tell from her body, tightly pressed against me. At times her eyes would open and stare at me. Not a hint of anger or accusation. She could have let go. Let her light pass. Let my mother take me back. But she was protecting me. She was forgiving me. The moon was silently watching us as we made our last push through the night. Soon, dawn would come. The sun would wash away all that ink which had condemned us. Goodbye, Luna. Goodbye, Mother. This night had been too long already. Hell yeah, it did. to digest here. There's a lot to digest. Oh, and because of the music in this game, YouTube had copyright or copyright struck one of the videos before. So if you see a video with no commercial before, it went as far as I could. That was that's the one. Selena, the one who would give me everything life had left her, was fading away. Despite my efforts to hold on to her light. Finally, she can be away from you. My God, man. You're a horrible human being, you know that? You're a terrible human being. My goodness, you killed an innocent woman, you bastard. And had the nerve to set up her grave in the woods. If night was the world, then this world had no end. This was my America. Stranded here. Facing the void under the cold glare of the silent moon. She was dying. She was dying for all eternity. And I kept awake to see her take her leave. An endless night. Ah. To my father, Vincent Coffee. So, what about that? Was there multiple endings? Was there something that I could have done differently? I'm gonna. I mean, there's a lot to unpack here. So, pretty much, you were living. He. Okay. I forget, and I was, I think at some point, I had said the name of the character, uh, or the game had said the name of the character, and at some point during the game, I said something like, well, wow, I've forgotten the name of the main character I'm playing as, um, shows her, goes to show you how much I was paying attention, but it looks like they never, 
like truly said the name of the main character, which just so happened to be William Vesper. So I guess what I guess happened is William Vesper had a warped childhood and he had uh, parents who had gone ahead and um, had like an arranged marriage like they do in a lot of Eastern countries, like, you know, Middle Eastern countries and um, You know, I got to take a look at this. I, I have to. So, Boston Daily News. I killed her. You know, I still missed several pieces of information. And I'm supposed to be able to get, I think, like 60 of these. The hell, man. An endless night. Sitting in front of Luna, holding Selena to my side. Clutching to her as if to the life that was flowing away from her. I was cursing the fragility of existence. My mother had won. I had killed the only light that had ever shone on me. There's supposed to be more here. I don't know what the hell else I could have done, but I guess if I got like all the photos, I think I missed a photo or two here. Yep, one. Uh, I missed two. So I missed two photos. I missed two newspaper articles. I missed a whole bunch of... No. I missed three victim notes. I missed one Selena note. I missed four William diaries. Which is weird because I... Uh, I found all of Henry's notes. That was his father. Margaret. Margaret, I think, was his mother. So Henry was his father. Margaret was his mother, and this guy, he had um, a sibling, I think her name was Sarah. So, Henry and Margaret were from two families, and they were the upper crust at the time, they were entrepreneurialist and capitalist, and Margaret's family wed her off to Henry because they had social ties but Henry's family uh, had the business, and that was Vesper, the Vespers. And Margaret was the Venter Cross, the Venter Crosses. So the Venter Crosses wed their daughter off because the Vespers had the business. So they combined the families to combine the wealth and give the children uh, a better life. So Henry and Margaret had two kids. I think they had William and they had Sarah. I think. And um I think they had Sarah. Let me see. Uh collection. Margaret's diary. Uh I am four am I can't get sleep. Father's still yelling in his room. Since his delivery company closed, his debts are getting worse and worse. No, it was Margaret. Margaret was his sister. Henry, Henry to Margaret. The day I touched her cold hand for the first time, I knew we never loved each other. I'm surprised I could actually give birth to a creature as kind as William. Actually, I don't have much longer to live. I'm dead for you. So be it, but I need to write about William. About, uh, my father has always true Vesper. I don't trust you, but William still needs his mother. I've asked Jack to make sure he'll have everything. He will visit you every week and I'll have... Wait a minute. So, this is to Margaret. Margaret was his wife. Margaret was William's mother. Wait... Oh, right, 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 yeah. So Margaret is his wife. Margaret is his wife. Margaret never loved Henry. It was an arranged marriage, and she did it simply out of social status and wanting to see her family thrive. So it was like a necessity marriage for her family. And so she went, she had two kids by this guy she never loved. Henry 
did have feelings for her, but Henry fell ill in his old age, and she was forced to take care of him. And back then, they didn't have the best medical um, technology, the best advancements, the best medical practices. So he was pretty much left to die in the house because the company was it was the it was going into the Great Depression or it was the Great Depression, and the company was starting to go under. So they didn't have money to place him in uh, a hospital so that trained professionals could really take care of him. So you had uh, this father who was, his health was failing. He was in a loveless marriage and the only person that he truly, you know, like cared for was the heir to his dynasty or his son, who was William. Um, Margaret, because of her animosity towards his father, actually took that cold, hard approach to her son, which she never really like. She 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 never knew love, so she never really like loved him in the conventional sense of love and affection. She thought the best thing to do would be to try and raise him as far away from what his father would have given him as possible because she hated his father, her husband. So she tried to raise him uh, under strict rules and strict guidance and everything else that she expected of herself. And that ended up ruining him and ruining his childhood. And I guess she used to have spells where she just would phase out. And one day she was phasing out to the point, uh, she was phasing out staring at the sun and she burned her retinas out. And that's how she went blind. And even though she went blind, um, <clears throat> she was still trying to hold William under an iron fist. And um, after Henry died, she was the one who took over the company, thought that the company should go in another direction, wanted to try and make the company more profitable, and put stricter rules on the company. And that ended up tanking the company faster than it was already falling. So Henry, not Henry, so William, when he be, when he came of age, looks like he killed his mother, matricide, which kind of makes sense, and left his father in the bed that he died in. So it looks like no one took the old man's body out. You know, they just kind of left him there, which is freaking crazy. But it killed his father. Um, and uh, his father died. He killed his mother. I don't know what happened to his sister. I know he had a sister. I don't know what happened to her. I think she passed away. And so he was left in this house with a failing company, even though newspapers said that he actually went ahead and was, um, even though newspapers said that the company was doing well, the company's finances were actually tanking and I think his state, his estate was sinking into bankruptcy. So he had, he had a little bit of electricity, but you know, the things that his mothers did to him, um, uh, driving his, uh, driving, uh, things that his mother did to him, driving him crazy, um, being left alone, uh, his upbringing, that drove him even more nuts, so he went out, and I guess he used to sit in the darkness, and the moon was his only comfort, so he would go out and kill prostitutes, like, he would, he was like Jack the Ripper, he would go out, find specific types of prostitutes to kill that were like his mother, and kill them over and over again, sacrificing them to the moon, I think, 10 victims with, uh, 11 victims with the addition of, uh, Selena, and Selena was his final one, Selena was the one that was closest to melting his heart, Selena was the one that was closest to, um, being, coming into the place that was vulnerable in his heart, and so, since he was consumed by his darkness and his hatred and his depression and his coldness, he killed Selena, the one redemptive thing that could have saved him, the one bright spot in his night. And I think he killed his sister too. And he was killing like prostitutes, I don't know. But he was a murderer. He killed like his one true love and 
he's just going to continue killing people unless his rib injury kills him. And I hope it does, because, dude, you don't need to be living anymore. That was a shock. That I got to say, Bravo, uh, I believe it was Ozone Studios that did this game. Bravo, because that was a twist that I didn't see coming. Um, I saw him crawl out of the grave, and I'm like, you know, he's just following this dude. And all this time, I don't know what the knocking in the house was about. Probably the ghost of his mother and the ghost of his sister haunting him. But, you know, to come face to face with himself and say that he was William Vesper, that was cool. You know, that's the reason why you couldn't open the trunk in the beginning of the game. I don't know where the hell I was supposed to find that other stuff. I thought I thoroughly looked through the house, could have sworn that I did, but... I didn't, but that's the game. That's the game. All in a nutshell, soup to, well, almost soup to nuts. Soup to soup. That's the game. That was a really, really cool experience. I really liked the tone of the game. The atmosphere of the game was cool. The controls of the game was cool. Some of the stuff I didn't pick up on. Some of the stuff wasn't as intuitive as I would have hoped in the moment it was, but then going back and editing and looking, I was like, oh, now that I'm not upset, now that I'm not panicked, now that I'm not confused, I can see it was right there and I didn't see it. So hopefully you forgive me for my stupids, but this was a really good game. I really enjoyed it. This was a horror game I purchased on my own out of interest in it, and it did not disappoint. So if I can get more horror puzzle platformer games like this, I'll be a happy camper. You know, for 2015 and a quote-unquote indie game, this was really cool, and I hope you all enjoyed the playthrough. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me. If you like the videos, if you like the playlist, mash that like button like there's no tomorrow. Share the videos with the world. Hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the videos. Let me know what you think about this game. And if you've got any suggestions for games like this, I'd love to play them. And for future games um, that you want to see me play in the future, I'm always open, always open to suggestions. So I am the outlier, and I will see you all in the next video.